today we're going to be making a hydrometer. So a hydrometer is an instrument that measures densities of different liquids. So our hydrometer is a homemade one. So we're going to be using uh, distilled water as our reference. So my name is Narada Mahai and my teammates are going to introduce themselves. Hi guys, uh, my name is Kamala Matwincha. Yeah, hi guys, my name is Mdwetian Mutubi. Hi guys, uh, my name is Nagoro Shaisan. As for the design of the homemade hydrometer, we're gonna need a straw and a bow stick. So what I'm gonna use the bow stick for is that I'm gonna seal one end of the straw like this using this bow stick. So the main purpose of this bow stick is to prevent water from coming inside the straw because we're gonna submerge this straw into different into a glass of different liquids so that we can get the relative densities of those liquids. Okay, so now for the calibration of our homemade hydrometer, we're gonna need a ruler and a, of course our sealed straw, which we're gonna submerge into the distilled water. Then now we now we're gonna use this ruler to measure to take the mark where the straw is at the surface of the water. Okay, then we're gonna use this marker to take a mark. Yeah, this is our first mark. Okay, so now we're gonna be comparing the density of water with the density of these following liquids. Salt, salt water, soft drink, and alcohol, and of course, oil. Okay, so now we're gonna measure the density of soft drink against the density of distilled water. Take a marker and mark this part. This is for soft drink. This is the mark made by the soft drink. The same process was repeated on oil, salt, water, and alcohol. Using the oil, the hydrometer submerged more as compared to the alcohol, which submerged the hydrometer the least. So instead of using a straw, uh, you can always use an old pen and instead of using a bow stick, you can always use a bubble gum. And of course, you should be cautious when you're using alcohol and soft drink because they have bubbles. So you have to wait a little bit before you can start experimenting so that you can be able to get accurate results.